So now, let's have a look at the details. And uh, we've always found that the best way to do this posture is, um, what's this? My right hand first, then left hand second, and then put both hands together. And we're going to start just by doing it in a natural stance, okay? Not with the uh, bow and arrow stance. So if this is the finishing position for white crane, then the right arm, first thing we do is number one, turn the waist a little bit to the left. See how my arm doesn't really move. Number two, I turn the waist to the right, so I'm facing behind myself about 45 degrees. Reach out. Number three, I look forward. This hand folds into my ear like a salute. And then number four, I turn my waist to be square again. Palm strike forward. My hand is in front of my shoulder, and the elbow is lower than the shoulder and the wrist. All the same as usual. Okay, again. One, turn to the left. Two, turn back to the right. Notice the curve of my arm. Reach out. Three, look forward. Salute, see how the elbow is relaxed. And then four, palm strike forwards. Okay, now. Let's have a look at the left hand. This again, the finishing position from white crane, and this is where my left hand is. So number one, as I turn a little bit to the left, the wrist relaxes, so the hand is in line with the forearm. Two, chops diagonally upwards, so the fingertips here are in line with the shoulder. Three, press down to the hip, see again how I keep the, the open space here, my arm, and then four, we brush round, brush round, and it comes to rest by the side of the hip here, again with the gap. You pull the hand just far enough back so if you had a mirror on this side of you, I'd see my fingertips, but I wouldn't see my wrist. Okay, again. One. Two. Turn. Three, see how the wrist is flexed, and four, back to the side, okay? And now what we're going to do is put them both together. One, two, sweep down with the right, chop up diagonally with the left, and yes, the fingertips come to the elbow. Three, down to the hip. Salute to the ear, and then four, brush round with the lower hand, palm strike forward with the upper hand. Neat, huh? Again, one, two, three, and four. Okay, get that bit first, and then watch the next one where we'll put the footwork in as well.